last couple of weeks has been quite the roller coaster. So uh, this is just kind of a recap. So what's been going on in the Star Wars community and in general um, across the world. First, I'd just like to start this video off by just saying rest in peace to a voice acting legend in the form of Jeremy Earl Jones, uh, who sadly passed away earlier this week. And uh, I was pretty messed up about it. And just to think that such an iconic voice uh, would leave us but he, he's lived a full life. And I can honestly say that our perspective on the character, Darth Vader, would definitely not be the same without this man. So, his deep baritone, I've always had a deep admiration for him. Uh, he voiced... A lot of characters from my childhood and he his acting skills were top-notch he overcame his struggles and he emerged victorious he is an exemplar of class or was an exemplar of class and especially for me as a black man he was always someone that I looked up to um, someone who exemplified uh, victory victory over their personal struggles uh and never once was um was the stereotype and i appreciated that i liked that he showed me a better way forward he inspired me with his uh deep baritone voice i mean i've also got a kind of deep voice but uh a lot of guys get kind of well at least i got a little bit self-conscious about it um and knowing that he was the voice of darth vader or the big booming and intimidating baritone voice uh that really kind of uh, inspired me uh and to take pride in my own voice and i appreciate him for that the world would be a much stranger place without you, James Earl Jones. And I just wanted to just say thank you for your service and for what you've done for us uh, in your roles, in your various roles, how you've inspired us to be better. Thank you. Uh, on that note <laughs> the rest of the Star Wars community has been uh, wiling out shall I say uh, not long ago we I guess Star Wars explained and Star Wars theory had some kind of back and forth uh, some kind of beef or whatever same man that was dressed up in uh, Princess Leia bikini <clears throat> had some kind of beef with uh, Star Wars theory. Not sure what the deal on that was, but it boiled over to YouTube, and then we had a whole bunch of shills trying to get Star Wars theory canceled. And uh, it was just so hilarious. To see all of their efforts completely fail. And I mean, utterly collapse. Uh, the cancel culture might be dead, folks. It might be on its, dead, on its last legs. Cancel culture is dead. And uh, it, it's, it's so good to see it finally being flipped on its head. Uh, you know, they were like, oh my god, YouTube, why haven't you censored this person yet? Uh. And uh, YouTube was like, oh, well, uh, they haven't done anything wrong. Uh, they have violated no rules. And it was just such a slap in the face to them. I loved it. I loved it, bro. They were crying so hard. 
all these shills. Oh my god, they're so insensitive. Uh, they should be they should be silenced from the internet because I'm a petulant child. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, bro. How do these people function, dude? Like, just... How do you exist in the real world? <laughs> just... Uh, I can't imagine... Being that petulant. I, I cannot. And the fact that people like that exist and we deal with them every day... Just... Blows my mind, honest to god. It frightens me, to be honest. But to see them get shut down like that eh, after being like, oh my god, YouTube, like, why don't you just censor them? <laughs> Everyone was doing a victory lap. Everyone was just dabbing on them um, on Twitter, just like, yeah, yeah, bro, you got, you got wrecked. Um, rewriting Ripley or whatever their name is, and one other account, some, and a bunch of other accounts where they're uh, shilling. Uh, on behalf of whatever faction they were doing, they were uh, trying to uh, convince YouTube to censor opinions that were um, not too kind to Star Wars outlaws. <laughs> they tried to frame it as a hate campaign, <laughs> a hate campaign against their beloved product. Yeah. They really thought that YouTube was just going to be on their side and uh, be the good little dog that goes after all the mean people saying mean words. They wanted to. They wanted a safe space, guys, and uh, we refused to give it to them. And so I, everyone was just celebrate, jubilant, uh, watching Star Wars Outlaws glitch into oblivion and fail uh because that's all it's been doing really i mean people bought this game really expecting it to be a well-made game it's a piece of trash uh, the characters look abominable the uh graphics and the uh, the collision engine uh, i don't know you got people falling through the floor falling through the grass <laughs> can't even go in the in a shallow water without um, a shallow pool of water without dying. <laughs> some uh, some outlaw, yeah, you can't break any rules, bro. Go in the water, dog. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Or glitch through the glitch through the ground. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. And people paid money for this crap, dude. Uh, just because it has the Star Wars logo slapped onto it. And we can't criticize it, really? <laughs> we can't criticize it? Really, guys? That's hateful now. <laughs> oh, but but we're the man babies, guys. <laughs> we're the man babies, yeah. Meanwhile, they're crying to to mommy and daddy YouTube. So, oh my God, please censor this person, please. <laughs> uh, ridiculous people. They never change. They never change. All these years later, they're still tr they're still trying to do it, except. It's less effective now. And I think people are starting to realize that uh, cancel culture tactics are waning. Um, and uh, it's going the way of the dodo, hopefully. And hopefully we can have a free internet again. <laughs> Where people can say a lot of things, say whatever they want, because it's just voicing your opinion. And uh, voting with your likes or dislikes. Um, and uh, I just miss the days before bots and all this other crap, man. Where the internet was actually free, dude. <clears throat> now it just feels like so much of a prison. It, it really does. Yeah. But anyway, um, <laughs> that's the recent Star Wars drama. Uh, hilarious to see it play out. Hilarious to see everybody dunk on Star Wars Explained and and uh, all these other shills like uh, calling for the censorship of Star Wars YouTubers for organizing a hate campaign against Star Wars Outlaws. 
because it was a it was a hate campaign, guys. No other no other reason. No other reason. It's not like the game was absolute trash, you know. But hey, they had a um, they had a bunch of Star Wars YouTubers commenting about the situation. They were like, yeah, like these people try to get us canceled, but they failed and. It was just a glorious sight to behold, just to see all their tears. Anyway, as I'm sure you've heard about by now, the uh, presidential debate happened. Uh, it was... I mean, it was alright, I guess. I guess Democrats are just happy they have someone that can speak full sentences, but... Regardless, I mean, I wouldn't say it was a bloodbath for Kamala. I mean, she performed actually a little bit better than I thought she would, but, um, she didn't provide any policies. <laughs> she didn't provide any policies. Dude, uh, all she could say is that I'm, uh, basically when she wasn't stealing Trump's policies because she has none. Um, in fact, it, it was so bad that Trump said during the debate, I think it was one of the most classic lines. I ought to send you a MAGA hat. Uh, <clears throat> I think during the debate, um, that was one of the more hilarious instances, but she has no policies of her own because she sucks. She's called a chameleon for a reason when she's not pretending to be black or pretending to be Indian. Um, you know, and, and she was pretending to be black, uh, recently out of convenience because it's election season, um, when every other, every single other instance, uh, she has said that she is Indian, and her name is Indian, uh, and her parents are from Jamaica. Um, I mean, Jamaican doesn't automatically mean black. Like, you know, there there are other Jamaicans. You know, there. Yeah, it's not an eth it's not a ethnic or a, um, race or anything like that, but. There are Jamaicans of, of different races, like, uh, you know, like probably have Asian descent or white descent or something like that. But yeah, it's, it's not like they're all exclusively black, but um, <clears throat> Kamala is at best maybe a fourth black. I don't know. She's maybe like a fourth or something like that, but she's not like African-American, you know, she does not share the history that African-Americans do. Um, she's not one of you, one of you guys. So I don't, I don't understand why, if you're voting based on race strictly, then I, I don't see why anyone would vote for Kamala. I mean, besides the terrible policies that she has, all I can say is you get what you vote for. So, Hey, I'm not telling you who to vote for, but I'm just saying like, based on her track record, uh, the past four years alone, uh, I wouldn't, I would not, and I am not one of those guys who's gonna be like, yeah, I'm voting for Kamala because she's a black woman, oh, well, yeah, yeah, dog, yeah, dog, she a black woman, bro, like, oh, yeah, dog, like, no, I'm not gonna be a freaking stereotype, dog, she, uh, she sucks, she sucks, uh, that, if I, if, if hell were one thing, it would be hearing Kamala Harris cackle, every single day for the rest of me it's just oh my god um but yeah <laughs> but she she expressed no policies that w weren't already taken from trump like now all of a sudden she's pro fracking she's pro borders where has that been the past four years because we know biden ain't president biden ain't running anything when he, he's too busy to being on vacation to run anything so who's really running the country as trump was saying during the debate we don't know <laughs> shadowy organizations in the background are running the country dog and <laughs> democrats are actually convinced that this is a good thing like what the what are you I'm convinced they should. They they are all traitors, dude. I, I'm convinced. <clears throat> oh yeah, we want the new new world order to run things behind the scenes. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> we want to have no say in our elections, bro. We want our our candidates to basically be hand selected by someone else, like Kamala Harris, unelected. <laughs> she she didn't 
get a single vote, dog. And people are like, oh my god, yes, I'm voting for Kamala Slay Queen. Like, no, who wants that, bro? Like, yeah, once she's ethnically replaced you, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna mean a great deal to her. <laughs> Just oh, man, you vote for uh, vote for Kamala is um. It's going to be an IQ litmus test. I, I, it's going to be a test. It's going to be a, a, a very big test of our nation's stupidity just to see how far we've fallen down the rabbit hole. All right. Um, anyway, it's your boy, Coast. Uh, just chiming in on current events, what's going on uh, in Star Wars, the internet drama, the internet beef between the guy who uh, was not long ago in a Princess Leia bikini and uh, Star Wars theory. And... James Earl Jones, rest in peace. All right, uh, hope everything's going well with y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Take it easy, guys. It's a crazy world out there. Peace.